Don't shut it down! Rather than quell the anger, the shouts of protesters seem only to grow louder. These were the streets of Charlotte after the police department finally released some of their footage showing the death of Keith Lamont Scott. No peace! No justice, no peace, they chant for a fifth night as they protested yet another police shooting of an African-American man. This police dash cam shows officers surround Keith Lamont Scott, who's sitting in a 4x4. Guns drawn, they shout, drop the gun at Mr. Scott. A body cam, which doesn't have a complete soundtrack, shows another officer attempting to smash the windows of the car. Mr. Scott then gets out of the vehicle. He backs away from the officers with his hands at his side and is shot four times. At this point, the body cam starts to pick up sound again. Legacy in his hands, gripping his hands. Back up. I got right gun. Back I got gun. They handcuff Mr. Scott. One officer talks about giving first aid. Hey, hey, somebody get my uh my bag and start getting it. Okay. But the victim, shot in the chest, is already Take close to death. I'm good. At no point in the footage is it clear whether Mr. Scott is holding a weapon. The police also released these images of an ankle holster and a handgun, but it's not clear where they were photographed. Police say the gun was loaded and had Scott's DNA on it. He doesn't have a gun. He Mr. Scott's he family, including his wife who filmed these pictures, have always maintained Mr. Scott was unarmed. The police disagree. We all know there's a lot of stuff floating out there about what has happened, what was not on scene, was it a book, is there a gun? We're releasing evidence that we, we believe based on our fact-finding mission that it will give you indisputable evidence that the facts we started with are the facts that remain today. For Mr. Scott's family and their legal team, the footage supports their view that the police officer's actions were unjustified. One of the things that really disturbs me about what I see on the video is the failure of the police to use all of the resources that they had at their disposal to avoid killing Keith. We shouldn't have to humanize him in order for him to uh, be treated fairly. What we know and what you should know about him is that he was an American citizen who deserved better. On the streets, the protesters were demanding full transparency from the police and the release of all video and audio. And even in the video, it's pretty clear that they just killed him for no reason. We find animals that are treated better than black people, and that is disheartening for our community. We need to stand together, and we need to come together and have people held accountable for killing us. We went to meet John Barnett, a local community leader who has spent years campaigning over police brutality. Why do, why do these things keep happening over and over? Uh, you know, you've had Ferguson, you've had Baltimore. Is one word. In Charlotte. You know, is one word. Fear. Fear makes you... Down to fear. Shaking hands, trigger happy. Fear. Because Who has put that fear into America, because they haven't really taken time out to learn the person on the other side of the barrel of the gun. The Charlotte police had hoped the release of the video would dampen down public uproar after protesters made this a key demand. But the partial video and the manner of its release appears to have raised even more questions over Mr. Scott's killing. Questions these angry protesters are now even more determined to get answers to.